I'm going to read to you from Kitten Heels and Catman Do Adventures of a Female Vagabond. This book is the first one that I did that I wrote on my travels when I sold everything and set sail for a never ending journey. And it's on Kindle, so you don't even have to wait for a physical book to come to your house. It goes right to your iPhone, iPad, or your Kindle. You don't have to have a Kindle. There's a special program you can download for free from Amazon, and you can read it on any of your Mac products. So, back to Kitten Heels. I'm going to read you Nuns Just Want to Have Fun. It was hard saying goodbye to my friends, the 360 nuns I lived with in Nepal. Their joy permeated my soul. I asked them, how did you know you wanted to be a nun? No husband, no house, no children to take care of, they said laughing merrily and beaming smiles of love. After being with them, I feel more loving and kind. Their schedule is packed to the brim, so I was teaching yoga at 4 a.m. before they do puja. We had tried to find an hour when they were free. I said, can we push back puja? My favorite nun stifled a horrified gasp and then laughed. No, we can't. It's puja. That's their prayer time. And I started showing up for it, too. I was up already, so why not go? I felt kindness and love surging through the meditation hall, a more celestial glow than I had felt at the monastery up the hill. These nuns rock! I could say anything to them, and they either laughed or listened intently or insisted I eat something. They made me feel at home, but I had more freedom than them. They aren't allowed to leave the property without permission. And that includes walking across the dirt road to buy a Coke. Lately, I've been sleeping in monasteries, which is far different. There are no nuns. Nuns are softer than monks. There's a giggly, come as you are, let's play together atmosphere with the nuns. No probing questions, just good, clean fun. One morning, a frisky nun did an impromptu yoga set for our breakfast show in the kitchen, teasing me about the new moves they were learning in my class. I wondered how they would look in pants for my kundalini yoga class, but they showed up wearing pants under their nun garb. So when they kicked their legs in the air, they still had their skirts on. We had our first class in the dark, as it was only 4 a.m., I had to introduce myself to a nun I'd never met as I knocked on her door to get her out of bed, just to help me find the light switch in the cavernous hall being built to house more nuns. Our yoga studio was an acre of concrete with electrical cords hanging from the walls and ceilings. The nuns brought pillows and blankets to do yoga, but some of them didn't have anything cushy and just laughed through the entire class. Then they ran off to puja at 5 a.m., the last night, my two favorite firecracker nuns talked Buddhism and Dharma into the wee hours with me. They answered all my questions until we were comatose and had to fall in bed. I wanted to stay longer, but my visa for Nepal had expired. Now I'm home in Dharmasala. It must be home as I keep coming back here. I immediately went over to the Dalai Lama's temple to say hi to him. I found out he is teaching, and it was the last day of his guidance, so I could linger on the path that he walks to go home and see his high wattage smile. And it continues. So if you want to read more about my adventures all over the world, and hopefully it will inspire you to leave the tried and true, same old, same old, if you've been wanting to travel, and get out there and do it. Have a wonderful day. Let me know your comments below and if I can answer any of your questions about my books, travel, or hey, join me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Bart Nikowski. See you over there. The link to the book on Amazon is below.